get my thread. Now I'd get into a whole bunch of talking about all oh, the best type of threads and this certain count and thickness blah blah but I had no clue. I have no clue about thread other than it's thread. Other than that I, I don't know. So if it's thin which this is kind of thin thread not too thin because I wanted stuff that would actually work here. So I'm just going to double it up. So I take my little hook Oh, I'll zoom in again. Ooh. Right, do it off the old chest part here. I'm really zooming in here because I really want you to see this. So you have the hook. Right? This is the part with the, uh, the eye and the sharp part. That hurts when you jam it into your finger. Not that I just did that. Take your little threader. Now it easily just finds its way in there and pokes through. So it's right in there. No problem. Easily done. So he's trying to adjust the focus. It's going to be really hard to do it. But it just fit right in there. Just dropped in. No problem. I take the thread. Just drop the thread right through here. Right, so you have your little part. You can't even see it on film. It's a thin metal. But it easily drops in. Right, And then you just pull your thread puller back through. And I've just threaded the needle. Now you take it. Line up your two ends. Right. So you see that I got two pieces of thread here. Try to keep that in the film. Now obviously if I had a high-tech cameraman, then uh, this would be easy to solve. So you take that, right? mm. as you lick the, the thread and people go, eh, it's so gross! But uh, it's my pack, you don't like it? Don't touch my pack. And you just roll it around your finger, pull it through, tie it in a little knot kind of works. You could tie knots in there and do whatever you like. I really don't care. I found this to be very effective ever since I was a kid. So it has done the job. Widen this bad boy back out. So there we go. I now have about two feet of thread and I have about five times what I need. Probably end up with extra just laying around. But I'm doubling it over. Everything's doubled over so it's going to be good. It's going to work great. Tony that I thought you always to say. Alright, again, I have it here. I have the thin thing. Um, the I don't know what they call this. It's a wrap that covers over both materials and they sew it on to give it better strength. But I'm going to take this portion of the pack and I'm going to bring it up to the top of that. So, as you can see, that's the part that in there is where the, uh, the rip is. So I take the material and I bring it up to the top edge. So it's at the top edge and then I just sew the top edge. It's not as good as if it was tucked up underneath, but I can only do what I can do. Now I'm sure somebody's going to write in and say, You idiot! You should have done this! You should have done that! And guess what? When it rips open again, I'll take your advice. Because, again, I'm no expert. But I know how to do the basic repair stuff. And the theory on this sewing for me is exactly like knots. You don't know how to tie knots, tie lots. Well, it works the same with thread. If you don't know how to sew, sew as much as you can go. I don't know, I just made that up. It was kind of sad and embarrassing actually that I just made that up. So I'm really sorry um, for my viewers that uh, do watch and listen to me and hang on every word. <laughs> Both of you. Thanks, son. Um, you know, there you go. But the rest of you just think I'm an idiot. Well, yeah, I've just proven you right. So, there you go. I'm going to sew this. You just keep going along. Jam it through. The the hook needle that I have here kind of fits in. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of strength. It's a strong needle. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to overlap and go back and forth a little bit. I like to go back and forth and kind of just sew in a lot. Bam, 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 all the way across. Don't leave a, I don't leave a lot of space because... I just don't think I need it, and um, 
I don't want it to hook, catch on anything and tear again. So I'm basically just going to keep going over and over. And with this particular hook uh, needle, it allows you, so you don't have to push straight through, it kind of will clip up underneath and flip up for you guys. The reason you wear a thimble when you're sewing is so you can push the needle through with your finger and it doesn't push the needle into your finger. Kind of logical. But I don't have a thimble, right? And I'm working with a hooked uh, sewing needle. So what I've done, just to give you an update, um, I'm bending over the material onto itself since I don't have that piece of material and I'm going to the bottom edge of this flap material here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but oh well, I'm trying. And uh, so anyway, I hook it in. I take the thread needle, right, and I go to hook it in. You just come in one side and right back out the same side. I'm not going over top anymore. I'm kind of looping it around now. I cannot push this thing through. I don't have the strength. And I can't get a grip on the needle. But I don't need to. I have my sutures. So I take a hold of these bad boys, grip the needle, and just force it through. All right, going through the wrong way, pull it back a bit, and force it back up where I want it to come through, which is almost there. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there we go. And then I grab a hold, and bring it right back up. Now, don't worry about the knot. Back the opposite way, and mm, almost voila. Ta da! Okay, so with the thread doubled over gives me double the strength of thread. You do have the problem knotting up. I burned off the extra threads. I'm using sutures to help me push it through. Now also it's good to learn about the sutures because if you ever have to, when you take first aid courses, um, you actually have to stitch somebody up. And you get a needle like this, it's all, you know, been uh, uh, sterilized. And you actually use the sutures to suture through the skin. You're not allowed to touch the needle with your fingers. So, it's a good way to practice using my sutures. Now of course people are thinking, ooh, but well, whatever. Get over it. Alright. So squeezing it in all the way through. Bingo. Open up, grab and pull. Now this is this you wouldn't be able to do with shirts and stuff like that. You wouldn't need to. Like these buttons here on this shirt I'm gonna reinforce and keep them going. Uh, they're getting a little loose, so, you know, they're factory edge, Levi shirt, what do you want? But, uh, good shirt nonetheless, lasts me a long time, just the buttons won't be able to hold out much longer. So, I will make do. Holy cow, come yeah, on. Nope. See, like, there's no way I would have pushed that through with my fingers. Just would have been way too difficult. I'm actually going to run out of thread. <laughs> so, that five times the amount of thread I'm really using up. But that's alright, because you don't mind using up your thread as long as you're making it tight. Lots of thread, lots of tight spots in there. It just makes it tighter. Now, some people will argue and say, oh, but you loosen up the materials around it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm sure you would, but... Um, you know, I don't have that many threads in there. That's an awful lot to be loosening up the materials for this particular job. But you never know. So, again, practicing my suture techniques. Oh, it's really weird, though. you got to get used to working with sutures because, well, I'm not used to working with them. So, it's kind of angling them. It's a little weird, which is, again... Like I say, practice makes perfect. So the fact that I get to practice here with them now makes it a little better on me. I want to get in my course. I have to do 
do it the other way. So it's getting there. Every now and then, you want to flip it back over just to make sure the stitching's getting where you want it to be. Now, if you look really close, I'm already sealing up. That's a, about halfway through that strap now. Now, when I pull on it, it's going to be tighter, but it's really it's working. It's coming together. So the material being bent folds it over on itself, gives it a little more strength. The doubled up on the thread, using the sutures to squeeze in the really hard part. I'm following along the lines of the uh, the old stitching, so I'm trying to keep it all in the same look and area. Mm -hmm.